Hi, welcome to Stamp with Ginny. Today I'm going to show you how I made this cute little dome treat box using our Love Blossoms Designer Series paper stack. It's got this great little closable latch so that you can reuse it and it holds quite a bit. So let me set this aside and we'll get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to need is your envelope punch board and a piece of the Love Blossoms Designer Series paper stack. They're already pre-cut for you to 6x6 six six, so you don't even have to mess with that. You're first going to lay your designer series paper along the top edge of your rule and you're going to put it at the one and a half inch mark and you're going to punch and then you're going to take your tool and you're going to score on the line. You're going to turn it a quarter of a turn, punch at the three inch mark and do the same thing with your tool scoring on that line. And then you'll want to go back to the one and a half inch, punch and score and finally, on the fourth side, you'll want to punch at the three inch and do the score line. Now, at this point, I am going to fold this on the score line so you can see it a little easier. Okay, hopefully you can see this a little better with me scoring it and folding it. You've got the second score line here on each side that doesn't have the little divot in it. So you're going to want to take that back to your envelope punch board, line it up, and punch on that score line on each side. It's a little overcast here in Georgia today, so it makes seeing things a little trickier. Hopefully my shadows aren't bothering you too much from the lighting. There's the third side, and there's the fourth line, so we're going to tuck that back in and punch. Okay, now we're done with our envelope punch board and we can set that aside. The next thing you're going to want is your paper snips and you're simply going to snip on the box directly onto that score line on the side with the two larger flaps. So I'm cutting that score line down to where it meets the other score line. And I'm doing that four times. There we go. And so I have these side flaps now and I'm ready to adhere. Okay, I'm going to use my snail adhesive for this, but I find it better to use your tear and tape or even your multi-purpose liquid adhesive. But for the purpose of time, I'm going to use my snail. I'm going to add a little snail to each one of these flaps after I've decided which side I want out. And then I'm simply going to fold them in and adhere, lining up that outside edge. And I like to use the multi-purpose or the tear tape because it has a little stronger bond. And since this is going to hold a number of goodies, I want it to be nice and firm. Okay, so there's my basic box, and I'm ready to start on the latch that holds it closed here. Okay, and because I'm doing this with Valentine's theme, I chose to use my Itty Bitty Punch Pack Heart. I'm simply going to slide that up on my flap and punch. And that gives me this great little latch that my brad will cling to. And I'm going to fold this in, and I'm simply going to push that flap down, and then bring this back flap over and press in until I'm happy with the location of it. Okay, at this part, I can see my little heart, and I want to take my paper piercer, and I want to press through the designer series paper carefully to get the hole for my brad. And once I've got the hole, I can put my brad through. Now there's a little trick to the brad because you want to be able to reuse the box. So I take my paper piercer and I set it under that side of the brad before I fold it down and secure it. And that way it gives me a little bit of depth. And I can try my latch. And of course, you can add a candy dot to this little brad to make it nice and pretty. And then simply pull the heart over and let go, and it'll spring into the correct place. And so I'm ready to decorate. I've simply used my large oval punch and punched out my sentiment from the Celebration stamp set Honeycomb Happiness, along with my scallop oval punch and this cute little Blushing Bride Glimmer Heart, also done with the Itty Bitty Punch Pack. Added a couple dimensionals so it'll pop it up. 
place it on my box and I'm ready to go and fill it with what I'd like. Let me show the original again that I showed you earlier and here's another one done with a different stamp set. If you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. It's open 24-7 and you can get there from my blog, www.stampwithjenny.com. Thanks for joining me.